so the actual calories of I'm this on. dish was no way yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> i've been set a challenge by the freshly grounded team it's incredibly important to make sure that you have a good calorie balance when you're eating you don't want to eat too much and you don't want to eat too little but how do we know Quite often you can have foods that look like they're healthy but they're hiding so many hidden calories. So I've been tasked with making two dishes. One of the dishes needs to look like it has a lot of calories but it's actually quite low in calories. And the other dish needs to look like it's quite, you know, sort of wholesome and, and, and like a nice little meal but it's actually hiding a lot of calories. To make this a little bit more difficult, we've called our friend Onali who owns a restaurant and he's going to come down and have a taste and see if he can tell which has the more calories, which has the most calories. Before we get into this episode of Mid Halal, I just want to give a massive thank you to our partners in today's video, Saffron Ali, who supplied us with the amazing meat that you'll see in this video. We'll talk a bit more about them later. With that being said, let's get straight into the video. Okay, so the first dish I'm going to make, I'm going to try and make a large dish that looks like it's got loads of calories, but it's actually quite low in calories. Now, the first dish we're going to be making involves lamb steaks. Now, I'm using this to throw on Ali off. He owns a restaurant, so I'm sure he knows that red meat is always very heavy, so we assume that it's super calorific. And don't get me wrong, it is. But the way we're going to cook it is going to be such that it has as little calories as possible. And we're going to serve this up with some nice grilled aubergines, some courgette, some couscous, some chickpeas. We're going to make it a really nice, big, wholesome dish. But hopefully he doesn't tell that it's high. No, hopefully that he doesn't tell that it's low in calories. But anyway, let's get straight into it. Okay, so the first thing I'm doing is setting up a griddle pan onto our stove right here. So here it is, the big boy, a nice big lamb steak. Now look, it's quite big. But the thing about it is that we're going to try and disguise it and make it look like it's got low calories. I mean, it has got low calories. So let's weigh that up. And so at 300 grams, this is coming in at 663 calories. Uh, and I'm just going to lay it away from me. Look at that. Nice sizzle on that. I'm going to set the oven on as well. We're going to bake this in the oven to make sure that we use as little fat as possible. So here we go. Lamp stick going on our dish just there like that. I'm going to give it a nice good season with some crushed garlic and some thyme. Some salt and pepper as well going on top of that. So put my garlic on top just like that. A nice good amount of thyme. Give it a good rub so that all the flavors wake up. This is going in the oven. There we go. We're going to prep our aubergine. Let's see how much this weighs. Hopefully not too much. That's 290, let's just call it 300 grams. So that's 75 calories only, which is not too bad. I want to keep it as like large as possible. So I'm just going to carefully remove the top without wasting anything. And that can go. Uh, I'm scoring it, so I'm scoring deep into it so that it cooks very nicely. Um, just like that. I'm going to give literally like a glug, not even too much of oil, 40 calories just in five milliliters oh of thing. Gosh. Aubergine going into the oven and I wanna close that up. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is chuck in some broccoli. This is actually very low calorie, but again, it's just there to fill space. Uh, it's 38 calories, what I'm holding in my hand right now. And that's gonna go in. Okay, in the meantime, we have our couscous over here coming in at 164 calories. And I'm also gonna chuck in some chickpeas in. Chickpeas are 126 calories for 100 grams. I'm not gonna use that much. I just broke the lid off this. Yeah, I put in 50 grams of chickpeas, which is uh, 63 calories. Okay, and all we're gonna do is take the boiling water, pour it over the couscous, give it a little stir to make sure it's nice and combined. Okay, so here's the thing. We calculated all the calories up together and we got 1,040 something calories, which is too high for a low calorie dish. So we went back to the drawing board, we kind of played around with it a bit. What we're gonna do, we're gonna get rid of the couscous and chickpeas, and we're also going to trim off the fat around the steak. Okay, so I'm gonna start by trimming off all this excess fat. That's already removing a lot of the calories. And that meat quality is absolutely amazing. Like it's, it's really, really tender and delicious. And I'm literally just gonna slice up this lamb into little pieces. It still looks like a lot, to be fair. This is a very substantial meal for 400 cal 480 calories. Like, I think, I think that's pretty good. Yeah. There we go. So there's already a lot going on here. So we're going to start with the broccoli. Just piling that on. I'm going to split my aubergine in half and in half again. And to impart some more flavor 
into it. We're gonna pour all that lovely lamb meat juices. I'm gonna set up my aubergine, just like that. And it's gonna be so, I love aubergine personally, like I can have it all the time, it's so, so delicious. And then of course we have our beautiful blushing lamb just put all over the top. Look at that, 480 calories. I think that's a really big plate. Okay, so first dish is out of the way. Let's get on to the second dish. This is where we're going to try and make a dish look like it's, you know, relatively decent, but we're going to really max out those calories. I'm going to try and hit 2,000. Wow, no. <laughs> I don't want to leave this house <laughs> without Onali going to sleep. <laughs> He's going to take a bite and just finish. <laughs> Making a chicken risotto basically. So the chicken will maybe throw him off because it's, you know, it's white meat uh, and it generally has low calories, but we're gonna make this look good. I'm really excited about this because we've got a really lovely organic chicken and like this thing looks like a small turkey, I'll be honest. You've got a neck piece here, you've got the heart, I can see, and the liver, and I think kidneys as well. So yeah, that's pretty handy to have in like a little bag. You can get rid of them if you want, which I am, but you can absolutely use them, they're really good. Anyway, to get into this quickly, what I'm gonna do is pinch and get all that fat into the leg. We're gonna make a cut here, and I'm gonna make a cut here. And what I'm gonna do is just, you need a pop. Wow. Yeah, so you pop it like that. Now, you'll be able to see here, right, the leg is here, the oyster is here. People often neglect it. We wanna keep that oyster. The oyster is like the best part of the chicken. It's a lovely piece of meat that just sits where the back is and, and where the leg is. It does like little to no work and so it has like a really good, ah, there it goes. So you wanna pop it so that the bone comes out basically. All right, and I'm just gonna like gently just work my knife. The best thing about chicken is that like it has natural lines. Like if it feels like it's too hard to cut through, it probably is, do you know what I mean? So we're just gonna make some cuts all the way along. Okay, just like that. The oyster's still attached. This little mm, sort of nugget of meat here is the oyster. It's absolutely delicious. That looks incredibly clean. Like this chicken looks so good. Like normally it has like a bit of dirt to it. Um, it smells like nothing, which is what you want in a chicken. You don't want it to smell like, you know, gross and stuff like that. It's really good quality, like to put it quite frankly. It's, it's, it's amazing. So, fantastic. So it weighs 300 grams. Boom, 540 calories for the chicken leg. So I'm gonna put in some oil into the pan and I'm going to drop my chicken leg in. Okay, so I've given some color on this leg. I'm gonna take it out and pop it onto the thyme and garlic. This is going in the oven, about 20 minutes to cook it. So we've got 60 calories in this onion. So what we're gonna do is just take the top off, half it, and we're gonna add in some onions. All right, so we've got 400 grams of parsnips over here. So parsnips are 76 calories times by four, 304 calories. Already racking it up. We haven't even added everything in yet, and this is going to be a lot. We're going to chop these parsnips up nice and roughly. Oh my God, the tears are coming. All right, so onions are frying. I'm going to put the risotto in soon. Chicken's in the oven. We're just going to cook everything up, and that's it. Quite simple, really. Just 100 grams of risotto is 350 calories. Just literally, just one portion of risotto, Faisal. How much? 350 calories. And what I'm gonna do is just mix it around, give it a good toast. What I'm gonna do now is chop up the parmesan as well. I think Khalil wants to eat, he's hungry. He's like my head chef. And then we've got the parmesan. I'm gonna chop this up roughly so that it melts in. Uh, this has got loads of calories, to be honest. It's quite heavy on calories. But even still, with all the stuff that we're putting in, it still looks like a normal meal. And I'm just gonna chuck that in as well. And I'm also going to add in, I know this is gonna seem like a lot, and it is, but 100 grams of butter is also going into this dish to make it super creamy and rich. That already looks so creamy and rich that it's gonna be so full of calories. You can smell the creaminess of it. My gosh, it's so rich. Okay, so let's serve this thing up. Finally, it's all good to go. It's super, super creamy. Basil walked past it, but it actually looked like mash. It's, it's actually very, very creamy, but it's perfectly cooked risotto. It's really, really quite decadent. I want to see how much I can fit onto the plate without it looking more. 
kind of embarrassing. So I was able to fit in uh, two thirds of what we cooked onto the plate and the risotto alone came in at, guess how much, guess how many calories, not the chicken, guess how many calories are in this pot alone? Uh, a thousand. Two thousand? No. Two thousand forty two calories. Uh, I've put two thirds uh, into the plate um, and so we're gonna go and say um, 0 0.66 times 2040, 1346 calories plus well, that's too much. The chicken know. leg, which was 540 calories, so plus 540. This dish, once for the chicken one, will be a whopping 1,886 calories. Wow. Compared to the other one, which is like 480. So you it's, might as well add 200 calories by adding like something really small, like. If I put 50 grams of parmesan on top, that'd be 200 calories. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some parmesan. Alright, some parmesan. Because Onley's on his way in. Oh, he's on his way in. And we're gonna, we're gonna make it 2,000 calories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 800 calories. Well, I just chuck a bit of parmesan on it. Absolutely. Alright. <laughs> so Onley's on his way in. Uh, so let's mic him up and then we can do the taste test and see if he guesses it. But before we do, do you want to let little lads know about, about where they can get such good quality meat? Um, I might keep it to myself to be honest. Because I think, let, I think I really need to let them know. <laughs> Saffron Ali is the new way to order halal meat to your doorstep. Anywhere across the UK, you place an order, it will come directly to your doorstep. Now the thing about Saffron Ali is that, I'm not just saying this, I've used Saffron Ali before they even worked with Freshly Grounded. They're an amazing company that only work with farmers that produce the best quality meat, that look after the animals well. My personal favourite cut is the ribeye. I love ribeye of all steaks, it's my favourite and they do a really good job there. And you can just taste how clean the meat is and it's been treated well, which makes you eat it with a good conscience. Now, just for you guys at Freshly Grounded, they're doing two things. Firstly, they're gonna give you a discount, 15% off, the link is in the description, go ahead and check that out. Secondly, they're doing a giveaway just for us. Now, I don't know about you, but I love free things and a year's supply of free meat sounds like a pretty good giveaway. Free meat in general is great, but when it's of this quality, it's next level. So go ahead over to our Instagram and check out the details to see how you can easily enter and win potentially a year's supply of free meat. Now back over to Onli. Well, that looks uh, amazing, right. interesting. All right guys, so we are back to have the big reveal with Onli. It is our honor, Lee. <laughs> Enjoy, let us know what you think. First of all, just by looking at it, this one I would say looks like it's less calories just because it's got the tender stem broccoli, is that right? And I'm seeing some cheese and stuff, but what's throwing me off slightly is the fact that this looks fried, but I know it's not fried. It looks like it's air fried, mm. or maybe oven. Mm -hmm. So I know this is going to be very lean. Well, he's confused me, for sure. But this one has rice in it, which is, uh, mm, let's see, let me that. That's lovely. That chicken skin is amazing. Amazing, okay. I'm gonna say, can I give my verdict? Go ahead. I feel like this will still be a bit more calories, but it's very difficult for me to tell. Okay, well. I think, because I feel like lamb naturally is a bit more caloric than the chicken. Mm. I don't know how much calories in all green. I don't imagine it's too much. Because of the creaminess of that, I'm gonna go with this one. But I know past, but there's a lot of parsnips in there, and they're not mm. very high in calories. Well, you are correct, Fine. but it's not as close as you thought. What do you think the calories are between the two of them? Congratulations on you are correct. Fine. Calories. And you said your failure. <laughs> okay. It's only it's only because <laughs> the, cre the the creaminess though. I think. Uh, sure, if sure, if sure. if the creaminess wasn't there. I don't think I'll be able to. We, we did choose the uh, lamb because we thought it'd throw you off because the calories are yeah. higher in lamb than, than they are in chicken. Yeah. But what do you, th what I do did. you think, number wise, what do you think, how many calories are in each dish in terms of kilocalorie? I would probably say for the whole dish, probably about for this one, 850. Okay, and for that one? Maybe a bit less, like 700. Okay, Seven. well I can say that I'm not the failure, you are. <laughs> <laughs> so, the actual calories of I'm this actually? dish was 480. Nice. It's quite low That's calories. amazing. For this, 2,000. No way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you, you want to know no my secret? Way. At least it was Cheese? butter. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Seriously though. Um, the past no, I would, never, I would never have guessed it beyond 1,000. So that has been another episode oh of Made Halal. This one has been absolutely mad, but while there's been massive differences in the calories between these two dishes, no what it's safe to say is that the meat in both of these dishes is amazing uh, and the quality of both of these, as is exemplified by my two colleagues over here, is pretty good. So 
whether you're having a high calorie dish or a lower calorie dish, we've got you sorted. Thank you for coming to another episode of Make Out, and we'll see you next time. I love, I love lamb steak.